Every week, we scour the internet to find the most amazing, creative, and jaw-dropping content developed in Unity. This is Game Dev HQ, and enjoy the best of made with Unity. So we got Mortal Crux here this time with a enemy that uses a magical type of uh, projectile weapon that it's firing at the player. Um, nice look looking use of like ambient light as he gets closer, he turns more bluer. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I, I think it's pretty good. I, I think the enemy could have a little more uh, variation, but uh, overall pretty good. Let's see, Halo Badger has this 2D game. I'm digging it. He says he's running into a little bit of trouble because of the uh, the difficulty meter without seeing the uh, the mouse, but uh, it looks good. I like the style, I like the camera shape. I, I like the animations for not only the player, but the enemies. The extra smear of blood across the floor is a nice little touch. I really like that. So, so good work. I, I, I definitely give that more around the uh, seven and a half, eight, eight out of 10. I like that. Uh, let's see, we have Rin coming out, and this is kind of like a Metroidvania type of game. Uh, looks pretty clean, um, very 2D, uh, maybe some parallax in there thrown in there to kind of give it a, a depth of field, uh, but still very much a 2D game. Looks nice, a nice exploration, ni nice platforming mechanics. Um, overall, I, I think it looks really good. There's some definite promise behind this. It will definitely appeal to a, a certain type of gamer. Um, yeah, yeah, good work. Uh, I would say let's give it a 8 out of 10. Let's see, Electrolyte Games is showing off some new uh, gameplay, which, uh, man, a great looking uh, third person character controller. I, uh, nice movements, it's pretty smooth. Um, I'm not sure if the weapon was meant to project outside of the actual gun firing, because you got like three bullets coming out, but two of the bullets are coming from nowhere. Um, if that's your choice, that's your choice. Just just something that I see right away. But um, overall looks really nice. Um, I would change up the hit indication from just like bright red to maybe something a little more dynamic, maybe some particles flying off of them. Um, I think that's just like a polish thing. And I think just overall, there's just needs to be a little more polish, but it looks really good. I, I give it an eight out of 10. So this Moonlit Sword, I look at this and I almost see the universe inside of the blade. This is top notch, ultra high, top tier quality work right here. Incredible, amazing, 10 out of 10, pat yourself on the back, good work. Son of Slobodan, um, Son of Slobodan, we featured this a couple times. Um, fast paced, hyper intense action. I fear that the look and the, sh the way the shaders are done, it may be really difficult to tell anything other than the enemy coming and, and you kind of like lose a lot of the environment. I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, uh, but I don't know if that's gonna affect things later on. It is an interesting concept. I just, for me, it just doesn't do what I would want to, to, to really drive me toward it, but there's going to be someone out there who really loves it. Uh, but I did want to feature it because, you know, you got some really good mechanics in there. You got some really good uh, fighting systems going on. I, I just, I fear that the look may be just too harsh to to really capture the, the general crowd. Adam Benko has come out with this uh, improved ship movement system. This looks sick. It looks incredible, very clean. Um, it's it's something that makes me wish I can go back to and and, and play this look with Wing Commander or Privateer because uh, it, it looks absolutely awesome. Um, great work. I, I give it uh, a nine out of ten right there, just because it, it looks so stunning and and based on what it looks like, pretty good feedback. It probably plays really well this one as well. Uh, Meat Grinder showing off some interesting uh, container mechanics with their system. Uh, pretty cool. Nothing crazy, but, but good work. Bohemian Pulp. I, I like this. This is a nice, you know, retro, uh, noir, futuristic, Blade Hunter type of environment with like the low poly pixel uh, and style. Really cool, really neat. Um, readability maybe come into a question, especially with the dialogue appearing on the right hand side. But man, it, it definitely sets a feel, which I like. Good work. Uh, let's say a eight, eight and a half out of ten. Freeborn is a uh, journey of this sleepyhead going to different places. Um, 
not much I can say right here. It looks like a, a pretty straightforward uh, game, but it looks pretty interesting overall. Good job. Uh, Pyrolith uh, has this really <laughs> insane um, sliding mechanics system right here. Um, I, I like to feature stuff because it's just very different and very creative. Um, uh, there's obviously some issues with like clipping and running into, you know, inside the pipe and stuff like that that I'll need to fix and, and maybe some shader issues and some lighting issues, but you know, good work overall. When I see something like this, I just want to quit because this looks so damn good. This is incredible. It looks like he's he's actually in the city right now, walking through the detail, the definition. Um, this is just beautiful. The lighting's beautiful. The, the environment is well done. And it's also got this like shader on top of it that makes it look like he's looking through it from like a handheld camera, which gives it even more of that realistic feel. Incredible work, fantastic work, a 10 out of 10. This, unless something else comes along, this may be my pick for the week of the best of this week because this is just fantastic. I mean, you even look at the graffiti on there, uh, the decals that were laid in, um, the, the, the overall environment, how all the assets, you know, just uh, support each other. Nothing sticks out. Everything like is married to each other. It looks just really good. Uh, fantastic work. This, this is absolutely incredible. Great job. School of Barracudas, man. That is a really neat uh, system. I'm assuming it's some sort of like either flocking system or particle system that you got going on there. Looks really good, really realistic. I, I, I really like what you did there. Um, hopefully one day you'll be able to put out a demonstration on how it works, but excellent job. Great work. OMOYG, they, they were building this uh this first person shooter with all these guns and great mechanics and now they, they've been working on this water simulation system of, of creating waves. I don't know how heavy and intense this is, but this looks really damn awesome. Uh, great work. Uh, I would give it a nine and a half out of 10. Uh, my only fear is that like, if I try to put this into a game, uh, I'd need like a 3090 just to, to, to push this full frame because I, I don't know how how easy or how simple this is on the system itself, but great work overall. Nice little animation, little uh, Aya Sauron in there, uh, in a mirror, even better, uh, masking everything out behind it. Oh, he cracks the mirror too. I love it. Great work. 10 out of 10. Good work. Damn. 10 out of 10. Um, Halo Badger. Um, cool 2D game here. Um, nice, nice enemy breaking out of the ice shard. It looks good. Looks good. Uh, great work. Spirit of the Samurai game uh, looks pretty interesting so far. Um, got some nice little swing mechanics. Nice playability. I don't know. There's something off. I I, I don't know what it is. Uh, it's nothing major. Uh, everything looks good. It's just there's something with the fluidity of the motion that that seems off. It seems stiff. I I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's just me. Maybe just like because it's using a 3D model, um, you don't get the huge amounts of angle or anything like that. Or maybe it's it's not even that. It's the timing. The fact that you know there's no delay and then attack. Where in, in anticipation for the, the uh, attack occurring, that just makes it a little. But uh, otherwise, it looks really good. And as far as graphically speaking, phenomenal. Oh, never be able to stay away from the weeb. Uh, this this looks good. This looks really good. Uh, great look. Uh, ray tracing. Got the nice colors and lights bleeding off onto the character. The background looks good. The, the, the environment looks good. Nice mix between the tune shading and the actual uh, realistic environment in the background, giving that uh, that Neo Tokyo look. I love it. Great work. Uh, that's that's a definitely ten out of ten. It's gonna be a tough one this week because there's a lot of good ones this week. Andy, uh, artistically incredible, beautiful, phenomenal, um, great work nice fluid animation everything is moving in this particular shot your, your your monster in the background is moving the smoke is moving everything is moving i love it it feels alive it feels organic uh, great work uh 10 out of 10 it, it, incredible um nice character movements i like the jiggle i like the the movement it feels organic feels good great work uh keep keep going with this Man, this, this MJF Modern Jet Fighters game is going to be pretty good when it comes out. Uh, I'm excited to see it, excited to play it. Um, it's always been hard to, to really do a, a fun 
air combat simulation game that doesn't feel like you're just flying in circles. So hopefully they're able to come up with a unique mechanic that makes it really uh, engaging and, and, and pushes it beyond that. But it looks really good so far. I've seen some of their chase shots. And it, it looks absolutely incredible. It gives you that adrenaline rush that you really want out of a, a flight simulator. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. It's a nice little uh, JRPG battle scene. I see a couple of the characters that were pulled out. Nice little demo. Uh, good work here. Josh Mack is demonstrating some of his gameplay mechanics for his top-down uh, RPG. Uh, looks really good. Looks clean. Um, I would add a camera shake with the when you get hit or uh, you do delve out damage. Um, other than that, it looks looks pretty sweet. Great work. So I'm thinking for this week, it's it's probably a tie. It's a tie between Sherman Waffle Studios and their amazing HDRP environment that they walk through and, and you see all the, the elements behind it and uh, it looks really good. Uh, and, and I really like the, the Evil's presentation with the, the, the animated girl um, background, the explosion, had that HDRP plus had the character inside of it. Uh, if I had to take one, I'd probably take the, uh, the Waffle Studios a little bit higher, but we're just talking like a smidge right there. It's not a huge step, uh, but great work. You guys take a look at all the ones that you saw this week and, and put into the comments which one you think was the best one this week uh, that was made in unity and uh this is alan work we'll catch you again next week uh, guys with some more awesome stuff from made in unity take care